After years of development from the CH-53 series of helicopters, the formidable Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion now meets its larger and heavier younger brother, the CH-53K King Stallion. The King is a rock, and the King will rise to the skies. The King Stallion helicopter built by Sikorsky is known as the most powerful helicopter the United States has ever had in its fleet, which has three times the lift capability of the CH-53E Super Stallion. Yes, the CH-53 series has served the United States military branches valiantly throughout the years. Still, as technology advances and more challenges arise, the King Stallion comes with an answer with its wider cabin and capacity of over 27,000 pounds, 30,000 in maximum capacity, versus its predecessor, which can only carry 9,628 pounds. Yup, they look the same, but the King Stallion hauls much heavier cargo, making it the Pentagon's go-to helicopter. The U.S. Marine Corps will definitely have loads of fun playing with their new set of toys, more importantly, serving the vital needs of the Marines during missions. With that, the Marine Corps has designated its first operational unit for the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion, the Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 461, also known as the Iron Horse Squadron, stationed at Marine Corps Air Station New River, North Carolina, has been redesignated as the first unit to officially field the CH-53K unit. Saying goodbye to its old but equally formidable set of CH-53E Super Stallions, it falls under the command of Marine Aircraft Group 29 and the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing. They won't be alone in the transition, though, a transition that'll be completed in 2030. They're one of eight aviation units to add the new aircraft, with two reserve squadrons and two developmental test squadrons. The rest of the 2nd Marine Air Wing will follow in the transition. It's been reported that the 1st, 3rd, and 4th Marine Aircraft Wings are also transitioning to the use of the King Stallion. While sad to see the beginning of the phase-out of the venerable Super Stallion, Sikorsky is thrilled the Marine Corps is introducing the CH-53K King Stallion heavy lift helicopter into the fleet and is moving one step closer to initial operational capability and first deployment, said Sikorsky's CH-25K program director Bill Falk to the Marine Corps Times. The initial requirement for the K-Model CH-53 emerged out of the need to build a variant with much more lift, a Marine Corps study which looked at the combat aviation elements of a Marine Air Ground Task Force. Engineers with the K program are using a handful of new technologies to achieve greater lift, speed, and performance with the helicopter, including the integration of a new, more powerful General Electric T-408 turboshaft engine for the aircraft. In their press release, the Marine Corps explained that the King Stallion's three engines produce 57% more horsepower with 63% fewer parts relative to its predecessor.